Hey guys, we are back with some more Red Wings East Side Hockey Manager, and as you can see here, we are 8, 1, and 4 to start the season, so really nothing we need to do in terms of changes, we can just really keep going, but uh, one thing I'd like to point out <laughs> that I thought was pretty interesting, if you take a look here at the departures for this season, Andre, uh, Alexander Jack, Barry Potomsky, and Mark Rogers, all three of them went to the exact same minor league team in Fort Wayne. <laughs> so I thought that was pretty cool because, like, what are the chances of three of your old uh, players going to the exact same minor league team? It's just, like, with with, <laughs> with how many minor league teams they could have gone to that, you know, they have the option to go to. It just seems weird that the three of them all signed with the same exact team. <laughs> it's like, what are the chances of that? Uh, especially in a video game, you know, it, it's understandable in real life because, you know, they could all be like, oh, yeah, we'll, we'll just all sign with the same minor league team. But in a video game, I don't think that happens too often, at least. So I thought that was pretty cool. But yeah, anyway, let's get the November simulation underway as uh, we lost that first game there. And we actually lost that game as well. So not starting out November great but we're still in a good position i believe we're still first in the west uh yes we are 20 points as we have a game against the predators there you go three to one win brown Bussiev and perot for that game and uh can it keep going here okay game against the islanders actually is uh flaherty played he played one game against the Sharks. Uh, all, uh, how many games in a row has Oscar played here? Yeah, he's played quite a few. Okay, we'll get Flaherty in there. Because I uh, don't want Osgood burning out before, <laughs> before December even starts. So there's a loss right there. That's unfortunate, but we do have our backup in net. So that's expected. Osgood suffers injuries, seriously. For about a pff, rough, for about a month, he wasn't even, so that it's not like he that was even in the game. That was in practice, right? No, that was in a game. Okay, <laughs> uh, apparently that was in a game. So, guess it's a good thing that we put Flaherty in there because now we're gonna have pretty much have to roll with him <laughs> for the next month. So, that's gonna be rough. Hopefully, he can pick up the pace here. As the starting goaltender for the for the rest of the month of November, there you go, six to three win. Hammerlick, Fedorov twice, uh, Lidstrom, Perot, and Brunette with the goals, perfect. And uh, that was against the Canucks. So we gotta stay on top of those Western Conference teams, especially. So that was a big win right there. Though uh, obviously the Canucks, they didn't have too great of a record, but you know just. Just good to keep beating those Western Conference teams and get points. Uh, yeah, read all. Uh, oof, rough loss to the Kings, 5-3. to three. Vaseli, Fedorov, and Lidstrom with the goals for the Red Wings, but we lose 5-3 there. And uh, Offensive Player of the Week is Matt Sundin, and Defensive Player of the Week is Nicholas Lidstrom. There you go. Good week for him. I believe he had four points there is what that said. And game against the Canucks, we still gotta <laughs> gotta keep putting the uh, emergency goaltender in there. Let's see, uh, five to four loss. That's unfortunate, but it is against the Canucks, so we do have a little bit of breathing room, but not too much. So <laughs> gotta win a couple of these next few games. Ooh, rough. The Avalanche pass over us with a four nothing shutout. That's not good. So, yeah, the loss of Osgood for November is really hurting us here. As uh, we have a game against the Wild. And it looks like they are still not the greatest at this point in the GM mode. <laughs> they got Pierre Turgeon. And uh, Yarmir Yager, apparently, as well. And Sedin and Sharp. Okay. <laughs> So, I mean, it looks like they should be good on paper, but maybe they don't have a goal. Yeah, they don't have a goaltender. Yeah, that makes sense. 
All right, let's see. Oh, got it. <laughs> but the emergency goaltender in there once again. Let's see. And that's a 6-3 to three win. Good. So, Stevenson, Brown, Butsiev, Brown, Hammerlick, and Iserman with the goals. We're 11-17. Uh, I was about to say 17-7 and 4. So, that's good. And uh, just got to get through the rest of November here. And don't have a game till the 21st, so... Got a few days of a break here, and that should be good to let Osgood heal up a little bit. I know he's not going to be back till like sometime in mid-December, but whatever. There you go. There's a win. Solid 7-3 win against the Blues. Let's see who scored there. Brunette, Dotsuk, Brashear, Vaselli, Stevenson, Brunette, and Brashear. Okay. And uh, Player of the Week is Pavel Bure, and Defensive Player of the Week is Chris Pronger. And actually, Chris Pr Pronger is the player of the week. And Burry is the offensive player of the week. And uh, suffers injury. Okay, that's for Halifax. Yeah, read all. I don't think there's anything else I need to... That I'm particularly concerned about there. But let's see. Blue Jackets. Uh, Got to put the backup goaltender in there real quick. Let's see. A 3-2 to victory. Perfect. McCarty, Fedorov, and Fedorov once again with the game winner in the third. So, nothing I'm too concerned about right there. Let's keep moving and get into December. So, game against the Predators, 4-2 victory. Perfect. Fedorov, Brashear, Iserman, and Lidstrom get the goals. And uh, we're looking much better towards the end of November. And uh, Dinus Zubris is on waivers. Ooh, doesn't have the greatest average rating, but he is. He does have potential. He does have potential. What's his contract looking like? Oh, 1.4 for the next three years. Can we afford that? Actually, we can as of right now. But what are, what are our finances looking like here? If we check salary cap charts. All right, who do we have to sign for this year? I might, I might want. <sighs> Only reason I'm checking this is because I might want to claim Zubris. If right, we got to sign Hammerlick. We got to send Krub, Dotsuku. Okay. Uh, no, I'm gonna hold off on. No, I'm not gonna claim Zubris just because. Yeah, no, we got a lot of big contracts this offseason, especially Dotsuk and Krupp, because I have a feeling Krupp's going to want a lot more than he's currently making. Zuper's claimed off. Yeah, I figured someone would claim him. Ottawa got him. Okay. And a 5-4 to four victory in the shootout. Fedorov, Maltby, Stevenson, and Fedorov, and then Dotsuk and Fedorov in the shootout. Get the win for the Red Wings right there. As we keep rolling with our backup goaltender. And Wade Flaherty, who is currently getting the job done. So, cannot complain. Game against Canadians. We lose 6-3. Krupp, Malpe, and Fedorov get the goals. But, unfortunately, Montreal got a lot. So, player of the month is Joe Sackick. Rookie of the month is Andre Voth of the Capitals. So, uh, he looks like a pretty good player. Yeah. Decent third liner right there. He's only played five games. <laughs> Must be filling in. Uh, offensive player of the month is Joe Sackick. And defensive player of the month is Chris Pronger. All right. Game against the Canadians once again. And we got to keep putting Thatcher Carr in there. Let's see. That is going to be a 4-3 to three loss. Dasuk, Brunette, and Brown with the goals. So hopefully... Chris Osgood could come back here sometime soon because we are kind of missing him. And uh, the directors are very pleased with our performance. That's good. But uh, we still need Osgood back. You know what? I'm going to take Osgood off the IR so that he can just be in the backup position instead of having to put that, uh, that emergency goaltender in there every time. And we're actually past December 1st. But you know what? We can keep going. We can keep going. We'll check out the stats at the end of the video. Player of the week is Martin Rusinski on the Canadians. And defensive player of the week is Rob Blake. And uh, Mark Tenorti is on waivers, not claiming him. 
Uh, five to three victory. Perfect. Fedorov, Stevenson, Fedorov, Brunette, and Fedorov with the hat trick, as well as an assist on the Brunette goal. So, four point night for Fedorov. There you go. All right, let's see. Uh, game against the Flames. Let's see. So this is going to be a 5 4 shootout victory with Brashear, Lidstrom, Brashear. Iserman, and then Iserman in the shootout, winning us the game. And we are 17-9-4, I believe that said. Osgood resumes practice. That's good. That's good. Okay. Solid. So let's get Osgood in there now. Yeah, there you go. And Draper still is day-to-day, -day, so we'll leave him on the IR for right now. Because uh, I don't believe draper counts against the cap as of right now but once we take him off the ir he will so i guess it was good i it was good that i didn't claim zubris because we're gonna as i mentioned have to pay a lot especially for guys like dazuk so brunette twice brunette with the hat trick actually and then dazuk fedorov and mccarty get the goals against the penguins so solid win right there it <laughs> looks like pittsburgh's missing uh Yarmar yager as we keep going. And we'll try to get to January, actually, in this video. Draper resumes practice. So, yeah, there you go. Let's get him back. Okay, so... Is there anyone who I can take out? Oof, have with a 5.9. That's rough. That's rough, because he has 17 points. So, he's getting points there, I guess, on the fourth line. But maybe, I guess, he's playing bad defensively. I don't know, because, uh, yeah, that's a pretty low average rating. So we'll put Draper in there. So we'll take out, let's see, uh, where is he? Right there. And Draper, get in there on the fourth line. And Osgood's playing, right? Yeah, okay. So let's see how Draper does compared to Butsyev. First game back for Draper, and we win 4-3 to three in the shootout. Draper with the first goal of the game. How about that? And uh, Brunette and McCarty with the other goals, and Datsuk with the goal in the shootout. Perfect. 19-9-4 in the middle of December. And Peter Forsberg is the Offensive Player of the Week, and Roman Hamerlich is the Defensive Player of the Week. There you go. Assisting on six goals. Nice. Nice for Hamerlich. He's going to want a big... <laughs> He's going to want a big contract. I know he will. Probably going to want like 4 mil at least. He's getting like 2.6 I think right now. The game against the Blackhawks. 6-3 to three win. Fedorov, Lidstrom, Eisenman, Brown, Erickson, Stevenson. There you go. So 6-3 uh, to three victory. Alright, let's see. When is our next game? 14th. Okay. One more day. Oh, no. Here it is. So 4-1 to one win against the Hurricanes. Eisenman and Hammerlick. Perot and Brashear with the goals as we stay in first in the Western Conference. <laughs> and we've been in first for the majority of the year so far. I believe the first we fell, honestly, is like fourth, maybe. Maybe not even like below third. <laughs> so I think we're pretty set. There's a loss right there against the Blues. Stevenson and McCarty with the goals. But uh, that was not enough for the Blues right there. Adatsuk is injured for 10 days. That's rough. He is definitely <laughs> pretty skilled at, right there as seen by his technical category. So, 7-day IR. So, uh, how many points does he have on the year so far? 21. Yeah. Yeah. He's a pretty big part of the team, obviously. So, hopefully he gets back soon. Basiev, get in there. Clear all lines. So, yeah. Keep going. I think... How many games has Osgood played in a row? Yeah, no, he can keep going. He's <laughs> he's had a long rest with that injury. Madonna's player of the week and offensive player of the week, and then the defensive player of the week is Rob Blake. So let's keep going here. Four to one victory against Nashville. Fedorov, Hammerlick, Brunette, and Iserman. There you go. As we are now 22, 10, and 4 on the year. So that record is looking pretty good. And a game against the Maple Leafs. 4-3 to three victory. Brown, Eisenman, Brunette, and Perot. Okay. <laughs> we're, 
We're competing with the best, boys, because uh, I just saw the Maple Leafs. They have a pretty good record right there as well, 21-11-3. But we uh, obviously are at the top of the league. At the mo- well, actually, we're not. The Devils, they have 52 points, 25-10-2. So uh, do we have any games against the Devils here soon? Let's see. Schedule doesn't look like it. No. No. <laughs> Our next game against the Devils is March 7th, so that's a while off from now, So, but hopefully we can win that game when it happens. Uh, Ward suffers injury, Aaron Ward for about a week, roster freeze. Okay, so does Ward need to be taken out? No, it's only a minor injury. Okay, I'll leave him in there. Hopefully he doesn't get injured even further. Eisenman, Fedorov. Vaseli, Fedorov, and Erickson in a 5-1 to one victory against the Wild. That is very nice. Let's keep going. Getting towards the end of December here. As we have a 6-1 to one victory against Nashville. Basiev twice. Fedorov, Brown, Vaseli, and Fedorov as well. Once again. And nice victory. Player of the week is Sergei Fedorov. There you go. Scoring Five goals in four games and assisting on four other goals. So nine points. And Hammerlick is the defensive player of the week. Scoring once and getting six assists. So there you go. The Detroit Red Wings taking over the player of the week slots this week. And a game against the Blackhawks coming up here. We lose in the shootout. Cleary twice, and, oh, wait, <laughs> I saw Cleary's name, so I was thinking uh, Red Wings, but no, Lidstrom, Brunet, and Hammerlick for us, we actually went down 3 nothing, and then three goals in the third, but then lost in the shootout, okay, <laughs> Danny Cleary, I can't believe I uh, thought he was in the, uh, let's see, 10 days for Fedorov, rough, okay, but at least Ward and Dotsuk are fully back, so that's good. Fedorov praised, yeah, I, as soon as he gets injured. Yeah, please buy your handling of the media, I would imagine. Forwards, let's get Datsuk back. And scratch Fedorov. There you go, okay. Osgood, how many games in a row? Yeah, I'll give you a rest. You've played a lot in a row. He can start in January, so the rest of this video will just be Flaherty. So that's a nice 3-2 to two win for the Oilers. Brunette, Malpe, and Brown with the goals. And uh, anyone else here? Or uh, any other games, rather? No trade period ends. That's good. And what's the required notification here? Eisman praised. Yep, always got to build up that praise. <laughs> Let's see. A game against the Ducks. Or the Mighty Ducks, rather. In this one, uh, Lidstrom, McCarty, Stevenson, Malpe, and Eisenman. There you go. Nice win. And one more game, I believe, before January against the Sabres, who's the uh, player of the week here. Actually, uh, contracts. So, Scott Bradley, yeah, he's a pretty good assistant coach. We'll renew him. There you go. Crowley with as a scout. Eh, he's not bad. Yeah, we'll renew him. Wharton, he's physio, not the greatest. All right, player contracts, Hamble, yeah, I got to deal with those later. Uh, so the player of the week is Matt Sundin, and the defensive player of the week is Nicholas Lidstrom. And let's go one more day just so we can see that game against the Blackhawks as Eiserman is out as well. Rough, rough with the injuries. So Datsuk's now our first line center, so hopefully he can get it done. All right, game against the Sabres. 6-4 win. Good. So Draper, Brown twice. Dasuk, Perot, and Malpe with the goals in the absence of two of our star centers. So player of the month, Fedorov. Rookie of the month is Riley Girard on the stars. Uh, offensive player of the month, Vinny LeCavalier. And defensive player of the month, Rob Blake. Fedorov, world-class talent. Yeah, build up that praise. There you go. Okay, so... Roster, yeah, Fedorov and Heisman. <laughs> All right, let's see the stats here. Let's check average rating first. Butsiev, yeah, he's way down there. I mean, so is Draper, but not as bad as Butsiev currently in terms of the average rating. 
even though Buzziev is 19 points. So, I, again, I my only guess is that he's playing bad defensively. And uh, let's see. So, Fedorov. <laughs> that was a big loss. 62 points already. 62 points <laughs> in only 40 games. Wow. Uh, Brunette with 55. And Eiserman with 52. Man. Kevin Brown with 39 and 43. Stevenson with 27 and 43. Vaselli with 27 and 41. Uh, Dasik with 24 and 38. Perot with 21 and 43. So he's no... He's certainly no Pavel Kozlov or... Pavel Kozlov. Slavo Kozlov. Jeez. <laughs> Old Halifax tugboat players coming back into my memory. And uh, Donald Brashear with 19 points in 43. So... Uh, pretty pretty solid all around so far, besides the average rating for Draper and Bustyev, but what are you going to do? Uh, Lidstrom with 37, Hamerlick 35. Yeah, Hamerlick's going to want a contract. <laughs> Actually, let's see if we can... Oh, okay, only 2.9. That's actually kind of manageable. I'll, t I, I'll, give up, I'll give him that, certainly, but I'm going to wait for a little bit longer. Uh, Krupp actually, let me see what he would want. 1.2, so not as much as I thought they would want, but <laughs> it's certainly an increase. Uh, Anders Ericsson was 16. <sighs> you know what? We'll renew Hammerlick and Krupp now, because I like Hammerlick. Uh, I'll give him, yeah, I'll give him four years. I'll see if I could get him at 2.8 if I increase his signing bonus to like 90,000. Yeah, there you go. And then uh, you accrue yeah, one year, try to get him at yeah, 1.2 for eight, and an 18,000 signing bonus, no trade clause. Mm. And he also wants an assist bonus. I'm gonna boost that for him because he's been getting a lot of points. Uh, oh, okay. So what did he want for an assist bonus? He wanted 126. Okay. So I'm going to, if he gets 30 assists, then I'll give him the bonus. There I go. Offer contract. And uh, is there anyone else we need to sign? Dasu, great. So we'll try to get him signed now as well. Does not wish to. Okay. Okay. We'll, we'll deal with him later then. And uh, goaltenders. Hold on. <laughs> goaltender stats. So yeah, obviously... Osgood's doing uh, doing good stuff. <laughs> eight nine eight. Not, I mean, not the greatest, but his average rating is what is good here. Seven point four two. Flaherty could be doing a bit better, but uh, that'll be about it for this one. And if you guys, have any suggestions? Leave them in the comments, and I'll see you guys in the next one.